they accidentally dropped their wedding cake, but her husband's reaction confirmed she got a good one. Oh my oh god, god, a tragedy. <laughs> Based. Yeah, it's good. Come over and try. <laughs> she knows. I, she, she knows. She looks, she looks so distraught, though, I gotta admit. I, <laughs> but this is making the best of, like, a bad moment, but still, that tumble those guys took, that was impressive. Yeah, I gotta admit, there is uh, a meme of, like, you haven't bonded with your friend until you put, like, a piece of fried chicken in the middle of a tarp and then attack it like animals together. And this just reminds me of that. If this was my wedding, it would just become a battle royale. No, no, no. Can we just address what the hell you... Where does that saying come from? Because that's Hello, not Hello, everybody, something... and welcome to Calvis. My name is Luma. With me today is Zen. Can we discuss this? And today we're looking at some serotonin-boosting content. The nicest things from around the internet. It ways to bond with your best friend by watching this together after a fine roast chicken tarp binge. Let's you just get right into it. You are causing me distress. <laughs> King's Guards violates protocol. Oh, oh, yeah. So, uh, if you don't know, King's Guards they are strictly taught to basically just stand their guard and just hold position. Do not make like crack any facial movements. Nothing. You got to be just <laughs> completely <laughs> stoic. And this guy's great. Hell yeah! <laughs> I love the like the witch time effect kicking in when the guard moves. <laughs> Non-forced snuggle. Oh, kitty! Little scrunkamo. Oh, <gasps> getting all stretched oh. up and ready. It knows. It knows. Oh God! I wish most cats were like this. <laughs> I would be so much more of a cat guy if most of them like to snuggle like this. Yeah, this is, I'm pretty sure this is like attachment issues with the cat, but still, it's really adorable. <laughs> Blessed moss pit! Moss, okay. Good, good. No, this is not a moss pit, it is a moss pit because there are things growing here. There's so much to unpack and the perspective, I've never stared at this image, but it makes it so much worse. I just really love the woman in the background just being like, what the? <laughs> Can't believe it. I just love that this dude is like completely lost in the sauce and dripping with sweat. Much like how I'm dripping with sweat because you haven't followed us on social media. That's right. Come get shiny with me. Get the voicemail from the source. Galvis socials on screen now. Get moist. Get crazy. Get ready. No notes. Let's just continue. <laughs> no notes as if there's anything that could improve that. <laughs> Blessed ferret. Oh, oh my God. That the fuzzy man snake is boy. dripped. Honestly, I don't know snakes rule. Okay, that yeah, fine. Put fair play. Full, full out reference. Let's go. My cat brought us a present today. And I've never seen a rabbit so angry. He was set free 10 minutes after being caught, photographed, and driven to a nearby field. Frickin' cat thinks it was frickin' chew toy. Frickin' Cuban's putting me in a frickin' box with a frickin' carrot like it's gonna make this whole situation frickin' better. Do I look like Bugs Bunny to you, Fricker? I, okay, I love how <laughs> reactive rabbits are. I, I dated someone who had two rabbits and they knew what lines to not cross and would intentionally cross them just to see if the boundaries had changed. <laughs> Always pushing boundaries. Some animals just know how to just test you. It was really good because there was like a pile of laundry that they knew they shouldn't go on. Uh, so they would go onto it and look directly at you. And if you didn't react, they would like thump to make sure that you knew to look at them violating the rules. <laughs> you see, I had the same thing with a chinchilla when I was a child and it just knew exactly where to poop. <laughs> oh, it's this thing. Yeah, this okay. this very niche and very useful tool for specific things. So I have a vendetta against Facebook's like horrible group video pushing. And this has to be one of the most free booted videos of all time. <laughs> I block every one of those pages that gets shown to me in hopes that one day I will beat the infinite content farm that is Facebook. But it's well, such a good tool for like tilemen. That's the thing, though. You've already lost the the war against the Facebook because it's not Facebook anymore. It's Meta. No, much it's Facebook. Like, it's it's Facebook by Meta. Oh, much like how it's going to be X by Twitter. Yeah, X is, and I'm going to divorce this social platform. <laughs> I'm so glad that you will eventually be releasing our videos on X. 
Placing bread at a sandwich factory. There are some jobs that should be automated. This looks so yeah. soul crushing. And the thing is that you actually have to be like fully on top of it. Like slow it down just a bit. Like you can see them struggling a little bit there. The profits must grow. Give like unto the void. Uncapped exponential growth? That doesn't seem unfeasible for profits. It's not profit anymore, my friend. It's Groffit, and we're making it in fistfuls. Is that a GLT? <laughs> Groffit letters to Marta. <laughs> <laughs> they are in love. They are talking about each other. I'm gonna melt. He's so dreamy. I think I'm in love with him. I want to tell her that I love her, but I'm so nervous. Meanwhile, I see this meme and all I can think of is that that format of like anxiety, depression, 2006 Honda Civic. What, what is this meme? <laughs> you, I, you've been going on about Honda Civic 2006 for so for like a while now. I don't know what this is. And at this point, I'm kind of just too afraid to ask. Oh, it's this thing. Oh, OK, right. I know what I know. Six Honda Civic. <laughs> 2006 Honda Civic. 2006 Honda Civic. 2006. Is that is that where it started? Yes. AI Squidward. Okay. They look so adorable doing that. Women are so adorable when you compliment their dress and the dress has pockets. It's like, hey, that's a really nice dress. And the woman goes, thanks. It has pockets. And then she puts her hands in them and show you. More clothing for women needs pockets. Straight yeah, up. Genuinely. I I I have so many conspiracy theories about the pockets situation. Like, I'm going to be real. I think women's clothing is overpriced and lacks utility. Oh, absolutely. It's it's all due to uh, big, big handbags. But most of your friends are older than you, but they include you in everything. That's adorable. That's actually really cool. I this is why community spaces are super good, because then it, it just allows people to, like, have good social interaction. Also, it looks like they are about to get hit by a hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> that sky Let's is Let's not like... focus on that. Let's just focus on the positives. Learning has no age. My uncle didn't go to school, so I'm teaching him how to write, and he wrote the names of his grandkids for the first time. Oh, you look so happy. Shout out to the kid named Jesus Felipe. <laughs> yeah, but just look at how diligently he's learning. It's great. Like, you never stop learning. It, like, okay, what is it? It's like, at some point, your brain starts to <laughs> solidify. <laughs> Uh, no, it's like the neurons just stop making miss, connections as easily. I miss having so a jello it's, brain. <laughs> so it's easier for like younger people to learn, but you, it doesn't mean you can't stop learning. This is amazing. Yeah, like this is why I take repeated blunt trauma to the head because it keeps the brain from solidifying and the axioms can always merge. Oh man, just use the vibrating plate at the gym. Works wonders. Stick your head on it. Yeah. Me, 6'4 with all my friends. Are you cold? A little bit. Yeah, no, this is real. <laughs> I I don't feel the cold, so I genuinely will just offer my coat at like the drop of a hat. <laughs> Sorry, I just uh, the second image just kills me. <laughs> Everyone looks so uncomfortable by the situation. <laughs> Even she does. <laughs> I so I showed up to work uh, like the office during this last winter for the first time wearing sleeves. And one of my co-workers on our walk to get breakfast was like, don't you never wear sleeves? And I looked at it in the eye and went, no, you're right. And just tied the hoodie around my waist in the middle of a snowstorm. No I think, you, man. I think the taller you get, the less cold you feel. It takes longer for the pain to reach the brain. I'm always losing my nail clippers and it stresses me out because I'm a massage therapist and need them regularly. The day I came home to this from my boyfriend. So he's been stealing them. He's just been amassing them like a weird magpie. He's been finding them and not giving them back. <laughs> What's worse is they're probably half used. Uh, and they're all crusty in there. He had no idea. Horrible. He was happy for both. Oh, that was just a, that was great for him. But still, we need to see the cat with the shirt on. Please. Who did it better? Meh. Nah. <laughs> yes that small goat i love scream this. more i i love this so much <laughs> you know what i love apparently prairie dogs go wahoo uh, uh who does prairie dogs a who these oh prairie dogs that's a who yeah they they make little mario noises when they're happy oh you were doing a bit yes <laughs> I just thought you didn't know what prairie dogs were. And that's all the time we have here today on Calvis. Let us know which post was your favorite down below. I personally like the pregnancy cat. I, yes. 
Oh, that was a weird way of putting that. If you want to see some more serotonin boosters, then stick around a couple more seconds because another one will be popping up on your screen. But on that note, we have been your hosts, Lumo and Zen. Check out our Patreon in the link in the description for exclusive content, like the post that got cut from this episode. And so, so much more. And we'll see you in the next episode. Have a great rest of your day. Oh!